I've uh, switched myself to be a learner, as you can see up here. So now I'm going to go to the discussions. Actually, look, I was already here, but I'll let it finish spinning, bring me right back to where I was. Blah, blah, sorry. OK, so there it is. Now, I'm a learner now, so I'm going to click on it. And hopefully it'll take me to it. There it is. And the only option I have here is called start a new thread. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'll start a new thread. Just so you can see how it works. I mean, I think you should see this. You know, I always tell my students to title their threads with Rachel, first name. And that's because when I look at all the responses, response to this, um, I'm just going to type something in here, la, 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 and post. So notice here you can subscribe to it. So anyway, if your students start their discussion responses with their name, then when you read the responses, you'll know who said them. Now, I don't really know if in Brightspace you have to do that. You used to have to do it in Blackboard. But you can see, you can add attachments here if you want to, upload or record, and then you choose post. So when I go back to the discussion thread, my computer is very slow here. I'm sorry. I'm at a lake place. Uh, Look how slow it is. So there's my post. And it looks like Helen responded. Oh, yes. It looks like Helen already posted here. I didn't see her post until I posted mine. That's weird, because I didn't see that in the discussion setup that I showed you. Anyway, I'm going to end this video and send it to you.